Hey everyone, welcome to Mountain Beast Mysteries. I recently watched a really crazy documentary. It was made by National Geographic, but somebody had uploaded it to YouTube. And it was about a baboon in Africa that kidnapped a three month old baby while the mother was not too far away doing other things. It kind of got me thinking like, what would the reasoning be for a Sasquatch to go in and snatch a child? You know, in the documentary, it kind of explained that baboons that are higher up in ranking will sometimes kidnap baboons of lower ranking females. Um, they'll either do it if their own child dies or as a way to, I guess, create less competition for themselves. So if a baboon kidnaps another female's baboon, it'll cause extreme stress for that baboon who had the child taken. It'll actually affect their ability to reproduce, which is crazy. So maybe why we hear these legends about Sasquatch snatching children is because it might be a way to establish a dominance or maintain a dominance over people. It would be a pretty effective way to, you know, stress out a human mother and to create lots of fear and to just let people know that, you know, the Sasquatch is the boss of the woods, you know, it's the master and we're not going to be above that in their territory. There's a whole bunch of other theories as well. Maybe the Sasquatch just wanted a meal. Uh, maybe they were just curious. But to me, it seems more like an intimidation thing more than anything. I don't feel like a Sasquatch would have to kidnap a human child to, to get a meal. I think they're fully capable of, of foraging and hunting and finding their own food in a more natural way than, you know, kidnapping a human child. But yeah, there's lots of accounts like in modern times and even like not too long ago, a few weeks ago, I heard of a, an incident in India where a monkey kidnapped a baby and it was found dead not too long after. But it's, it's very strange. Monkeys are very curious beings, but they're also capable of like working things out and you know, I'm sure they know a human baby is a human baby and it's not a monkey baby. So I don't think they're, you know, mixing things up. And uh, Sasquatch are apparently highly intelligent, so there's not a doubt in my mind that they would be fully aware of what they're doing if they were taking a human child. And then again, it could all just be myth and stories made up to scare children as a way to get them to be on like good behavior all the time, you know? I know when I was a kid, my mom would tell me things that would make me smarten up and, you know, telling your child that there's a scary monster out in the woods that will come and get you in the night if uh, if you're not behaving, you know, that's a good way to get them to, to stay in line. So those stories could have just evolved from just being stories for children to, to more of a, a legend that was kind of blown out of proportion. You know, I haven't found too many actual written accounts, like specific accounts of Sasquatch kidnapping children. Uh, we do have the Albert Austin case, but he was a fully grown man. He wasn't a child. That's probably the most well-documented case of a Sasquatch taking a person away. Um, and he was able to get away. So in that in instance, it would have nothing to do with, you know, establishing dominance over, <laughs> over a, another female or anything like that. It would just be curiosity, I think. I don't really know the reason why Albert Osman was taken. It seems to be like just a, a curious behavior and they were just they just wanted to figure out what he was up to and what he was. So yeah, those are my thoughts on that. If you guys have any other theories or any other stories or cases that are similar to this, let me know in the comments below. To my patrons, I'm trying to wrap up an exclusive video for you guys by the end of the month or maybe the very, very beginning of May. Also, if you want to become a patron, links below in the description. Be sure to check out the t-shirt shop as well, all the links are below, and uh, I also have a link to the National Geographic documentary that I watched on this topic. So be sure to watch that, let me know what you think, and thanks for watching this episode of Mountain Beast Mysteries.